What's up guys, Pop Up on one here. Today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to install the SDK for Blade Sorcery and Blade Sorcery Nomad U10. So let's get started. So first off, there's a link in the description of this page. All you're gonna to need to do is click on code, download as a zip. Once you have it as a zip, it's going to be installed somewhere in your downloads. In my case, it's right here. So you want to open it up, click it and drag it to wherever you want to save it. In my case, I saved it right here in my D drive. So once I've renamed the original Blade and Sorcery SDK, this, but with original after that, the name change is completely optional. Just make sure the two names are different or else they will combine and we don't want that. We want them to be separate. So all we're gonna do is once this is downloaded, we want to download Unity Hub. That's already in a different video of mine. So definitely check that out. I'll have that linked in the corner right here. But once that's done, we're going to see Blade and Sorcery, next update original if you already have it downloaded. So what we're going to want to do is go to add. And we're going to want to select the one that you just downloaded. So Blade and Sorcery next update, the one with Unity at 23. So we select the folder and now it will show up here. What we're going to need to do is actually download the proper Unity version. So it's no longer 3.20, it's 3.23. So to do this, we go to installs. And now we can download it directly from here. So what we want to do is click add and you're going to select this right here, click next. And it's going to ask you if you want to install anything else. If you want to learn how to code, I'd recommend clicking this one and to install mods for Blade and Sorcery Nomad, click build Android support and download both of these next and then install all of it. So once that is finished installing, what we're going to do is click on change platform hit Android, click on it, it will open it up and your Blade and Sorcery will look like this. Note the new Unity looks the exact same as the old one, except now it can actually install mods for Blade and Sorcery Nomad. So you are going to do everything the exact same. So it will be linked again up in the corner right here. You build it the exact same as before, except this time what you're gonna want to do is create a new label that's Quest 2. So instead of it being just default, you go down, go to manage, and you click the plus, and you type in quest two, it needs to be named exactly this. That's really it. Um, the only other thing I wanna to explain to you guys is if you're trying to upload mods from your Blade and Sorcery U10 to Nomad U10 Unity, what I'd highly recommend doing is selecting whatever folder you want, grabbing it, and just dragging it into the new Unity. This will prevent a whole lot of errors that I've been seeing such as the weapons and scripts not importing properly. One other helpful hint for any of you that don't want to keep retyping all the addressable groups, open up the asset group in your new SDK, go to any old or previous SDK, find which one that you want. So in our case, identity, what we want to do is simply grab it, drag it into the new asset group, and look at this magic. Everything is already brought in. Now from here, just make sure to go to the actual asset group, click add schema, add these two in, local build path, local load path, save it, and voila. So just to reiterate, you want your Blade and Sorcery SDK next update set to 2020.3.23 F1, target platform Android, and once you're actually exporting, obviously make sure it's set to default, have your labels be set to Quest 2 that looks exactly like this and build it like normal. But that's it guys. So if you like this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It helps out the channel a ton. Thanks for watching.